What's up guys, Anthony here with Empire Music and Empire Music, oh, almost at EmpireMusicOnline.com and caught myself. It's just EmpireMusic.com. The online's been gone a long time ago. A little fumble there. I'm not used to opening up with some slap stuff there. It made me nervous being on camera here, having Brent staring right at me, staring through my soul at my, at my playing there. Um, but nonetheless, here today with a really, really cool uh, model. I did the P-Bass video. I'll put a link to that. Uh, below or up top here, depending on what platform you're watching this on. This is the 75th anniversary commemorative jazz bass. It's in the beautiful bourbon, bourbon burst finish. Um, it's got the gold hardware on it. So all the specs are really similar to what we gave you with the P bass. And this kind of marries an American Pro 2 with an American Original and all with giving you some limited edition features that I'll kind of show you as far as some look stuff. But it plays great, it sounds amazing. I was, I was really impressed with the P bass and I'm equally as impressed with the jazz bass here. So like I said, bourbon burst finish. It's got a uh, urethane finish on that thing. Actually, let me check my specs on that. Was it urethane? Yeah, gloss urethane finish. It's got a high mass bridge on the back here. You can string that through the, you can top load it or you can put it through the back. And while I got this turned, we'll kind of show you the the 75th anniversary badge there on the contoured neck heel, very similar to the American Pro 2s. You see that same kind of badge come through here on the headstock. So while I got this turned, I'll show you that's the 70s style tuners on it too, which is kind of cool. Um, two piece ash body. So get the ash, so the guys that are searching for ash bases out there, great option for you. And obviously in a limited run, that's always cool to get. The key, the, the, the main cog here to the sound Custom Shop 60s J Bass pickups in it. They sound really, really nice, real punchy, real throaty, um, a little bit milder than the 70s punch, but it's give that real nice lower mid range character that the 60s give you, that nice warmth. Three knob setup on it, so you got the volume, the volume, and the tone. Three ply pick guard on it. Really nice instrument, shows you the back um, with the contour neck heel. Now we have a, the super satin urethane finish on the back of the neck here. It's a slim 60s C, I'm sorry, just a slim C profile on it. Rosewood board, medium jumbo frets, inch and a half at the nut, it's a bone nut. Shows you the 70s style tuners on the back. Pretty basic stuff, cool limited edition instrument. Always nice to kind of add into the collection. I always like limited edition run stuff for some reason, it's just, I don't know if I feel like I'm getting a better investment piece. I'm just getting a nice kind of talking piece for, a, you know, if you're geeking out with other bass players, it's always cool to have that type of instrument. So really impressed with this thing. Just like I said, just like the P bass. Sonically, what we got at the top there, I had both pickups wide open. I had tone in about 80, a little higher than normal, but for the slap stuff, I kind of like that. So I'm gonna put that everything at 100 here. We'll do some finger style, we'll do some pick. Just in like real time, I'm noticing it, it, it's a very even sounding bass. Like um, it really encapsulates a lot of what I like from modern instruments and vintage instruments where um, it, it's very round, has a lot of like, there's just a lot of, uh, like I said, my catchphrase, but there's that harmonic content thing is totally there with it. So I just kind of noticed that in real time while I was playing, I always like to kind of relay what, what I'm feeling here in the moment to, you know, to you guys. Do the same thing with the pick. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
a little stumble at the end there. Um, so that's wide open. We're going to go just front pickup. We're kind of going to move into P-Base territory there. Same thing with the pick, I'll kind of move my hand around a little bit too, like I did at the end there. That sounds really nice. Not quite as aggressive as what we get out of the split coil P pickup whenever we start to dig. So I'm so used to having that dynamics we get from the split coil, but with, a, with this, with just the front pickup, you notice, or at least to me, I gotta dig more to pull out that. And that's the difference I always find um, when we're trying to kind of emulate a P bass on a J bass is it's not quite as dynamic. So while you do encapsulate a little bit of that P bass tone, you never go you know, full to it. So if someone comes in the shop saying like, well, why don't I just get a J because I want that P tone, but I also want to be able to get that J sound. That's cool, but you're, it, it's not totally there. Just like a P bass with a J pickup in the bridge, it's not totally there. They're, these instruments still kind of separate themselves as far as personality. So um, it's good to have both. And I'm not saying that as a salesman, I'm saying that as a bass player that owns both. And I like to take both to you know, like a session or a, a rehearsal or a live gig. So um, keep in mind that they're, that they're definitely there for a reason. So we'll go back to the bridge pickup. And I'm just gonna go back to where I was at, at the top. So we're gonna go wide open, roll some tone off, run you through just a couple of tones there. So cool, great bass, you know, no surprises here. It's a J bass. 
we're pulling out those three distinct tones from kind of P-ish tone to uh, the mid-range out of the J pickup to that real full throaty, I always say that Marcus Millery kind of tone when we have both pickups wide open. So uh, check it out on the website, it's empiremusic.com. It's the Fender 75th Anniversary Commemorative Jazz Bass. I can't say that too many times fast. Um, it's on there. If you need anything, call me at the shop, 412-343-5299, or you can email me directly. It's anthony at empiremusic.com. And I apologize for looking out the window here in this room so much during this one because there's some things going on out there that I'm going to go tend to now. But thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.